Well, Prince Andrew's living arrangement scandals are heating up today with new reports about him refusing to leave Royal Lodge. According to the Daily Mail, the Duke of York is refusing to leave the cottage while some renovations take place. That's because if he were to leave, he's worried he will never get back in. The source told the Mail, it's become farcical. Andrew has roof repairs scheduled later this summer, which will take several months to complete, and has been advised that staying in the house during those renovations could prove problematic, that he is reluctant to leave. It comes as there have been reports for a while now that King Charles wants his brother to leave the Royal Lodge and move to Frogmore Cottage, which is a lot smaller, and was done up for Harry and Meghan, who then stepped down as senior royals and moved to California. The source continued, they originally wanted Andrew out of Royal Lodge so that the property could be renovated and prepared for new lodges. But he is adamant that, as he has so many years left to run on his lease, and he spent millions from his own fortune doing up the place, that he is not going to leave his home. He feels very strongly, perhaps with some justification, that they are moving the goalposts suddenly, and it is hugely unfair. No one knows how it will be resolved, but Andrew is insistent. It was clearly convenient for Harry and Meghan to leave Frogmore, as they were paying for a property they don't really use. But Royal Lodge is the Andrews' home. There has been reports circulating that Charles wants to boot his brother and former sister-in-law out of the estate so that Prince William and Kate can move in with their three children. The Prince and Princess of Wales live in a smaller home in Windsor Home Park called Adelaide Cottage, whereas Royal Lodge has seven bedrooms and spans across two floors. Prince Andrew has lived in Royal Lodge since 2003 under a 75-year lease from the Crown Estate, which he shares with ex-wife Sarah Ferguson. Their daughter, Princess Eugenie, now lives in Frogmore Cottage with her husband and two sons. It comes after late last month King Charles was warned about evicting his little brother from the royal residence. A royal source told the Times last month that Charles doesn't actually have the authority to do that. That's not a matter for the King. It is a matter for the Chancellor of Exchequer. The only way you could get Andrew to move out would be through an arrangement. He would have to agree. The source also said that removing Andrew from the premises would not make him a very popular person within the family. Other members of the family who would not want to see a member kicked out. However, Royal author Tom Bauer told the Daily Express last month that there are ways around this. All Crown leases have termination clauses. For example, if you're not paying for upkeep in a way they think desirable. So I would think the lease won't protect him forever. They can always say the paintwork isn't good enough. That's how he can be winkled out.